Hey, welcome to this episode of Rough Talk VR. It's a Friday, and if we're recording a, a non-interview, we're releasing a non-interview on a Friday, dun, 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 dun. it's probably for something big. You and then, should, yeah. In this case, it's Walkabout Mini Golf's newest DLC, which do we even need to do like a final score review or no. anything at the no, end no, no, of no, this? No. I mean, it's Walkabout Mini Golf. The reality is the course is going to be worth it. If we gave it a score, it would probably be a perfect score. And I mean, the course is all their DLCs are three ninety nine. So how can it not be worth it? Worth it? Cheaper than a Starbucks coffee, oh, dude? Come on, like it's, fifty percent cheaper, really. The developers <laughs> of this game, Mighty Coconut, they always deliver fire. And today we're talking about Walkabout Mini Golf, Alfheim, Land of the Elves. Either Alfheim or Alfheim. We're Alfheim, not one hundred percent Alfheim. We're going with Alfheim. Yeah, we're having some some fun with the name. You know, I never do good on pronunciation. That's always one that I'll just assume I'm wrong. But in my mm-hmm. my, I'm, sure, I'm quite sure we are. My my way, I'll say it's Alfheim, Land of the Elves. The H is silent, and they always seem to take it to the next level. And I always struggle with recency bias in walkabout mini golf for the newest course. It feels like they've taken this to the newest level or they've 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 done this the best. But if I'll say anything in this course, just with lighting, you know, the the way that they've played with the lighting, especially as you're flying through the air, it might be the most beautiful course. And I know it, it's always so bad to say the most with the most recent because it's just recency, but uh, it's so beautiful. You know what's crazy about their flying? And this this is the first time I flew in one of their um one of their courses and it really came to me is like they pretty much have the engine for quidditch oh 100 percent, right because like, it's very smooth mm-hmm. and i'll i'll even do like the wrist backwards and go backwards and stuff so it's like hmm they've already figured out some of the well how beautiful was this course flying through it with and again i emphasize Dude, it's a the, stunning graphically it's a stun especially the far out views and stuff well, it really is stunning but that, then then again so are other ones are there any that are not i know but just the lighting tricks in this one the way that they play with the lighting i feel like takes the the beauty of this course to a whole new level again when you're flying through you're viewing it from the top down wow aesthetically they knocked it out of the park hole in one from from walkabout mini golf with this one again i'll i'll say it until they stop making courses is like that's probably not ever going to change because it's part of their formula so Mm -hmm. as a consumer um, I expect that that graphical level is going to look that good and soon to be probably even better as newer headsets start. Like the Quest 3? Yep. Like, oh my goodness, it's it's beautiful. And yep, yep. unfortunately for people like myself that aren't the best flock about mini golf, this one definitely did feel like one of the more challenging DLCs. They really play. Yeah, it wasn't on- the hardest, but it definitely wasn't the easiest. So it, it, it actually, for me, challenge-wise fell into a, a perfect combination of not too easy not too hard mm-hmm. some were obviously easier than others i'll agree with that assessment that it's definitely not their hardest course but it's definitely not their easiest either uh-uh. uh they really play with curves and angles and although i did very well obstructions you even did well on the hard course yeah yeah so. like 200 par or something well we did a lot of stopping and thinking before each swing in uh-huh. this one i i I guess earlier on I would be more prone to like just go out there and just try something. Whereas now it's like, I'm smart enough to go. Sometimes the obvious in these courses is not the way to go. So I like to walk it Mm -hmm. and then inspect it. Then my, my personal way is the first couple of times I play the course, not let me break it, but let me like experiment. Yeah. Let me test the best way here. And sometimes I find out some really cool stuff. I just don't find it out on the first Dude, swing. You got, you got a hole in one by doing some crazy. I got a hole in one on my first swing on the first hole yeah. of this. So I'd never played the course before. First so we've swing. Both, we've both done that. Yeah. You so did that far. a couple of horse, a whole a couple courses ago. I don't remember couple horses, a couple of horses. Then I almost had a couple of holes. No, a couple of courses ago. I don't remember which DLC it was. Yep. My but first swing, just like you. So I know what it feels like. It felt so good. I was it feels so better than getting one on like the tenth hole. I can't say I did great after that, but it doesn't that matter. First swing, it was beautiful, and we were recording too. So that's nobody nice. can ever take away. People on YouTube, they'll see the the play playthrough behind us. You know, we recorded our first first ever playthrough of it on easy, yep. and our first ever playthrough of it on hard. Hard was legit, and you got under one again. That's that's yeah, impressive. But 
dude, there was... I think under one, right? Yeah, I think I was minus one or minus two. Yeah. I can't remember. I know you were under par, though. I was pretty amazed, because that's not usually how it plays out. Well, and again, this... On the hard mode? This course, I... What I mean by they really play with curves and angles, there's a lot of like barriers and a lot of sharp current corners. And a lot of times you got to like ride the wall or you have to sneak it up through somewhere and land back on a platform. There's a lot of ways to mess up. Yeah. Some of them are kind of puzzly mm-hmm. in their own, their own right. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's got, uh, but I don't know, man. It was, it was one of the more simpler type looking aesthetic Correct. Looking, but courses. not in gameplay. No, that's what. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not like you're looking at really ultra complicated. You're almost looking at some cases as like maze art. Mm-hmm. There were some times we even loaded in it, into it for the first time. And you went, "Whoa, yeah. what the hell is going on here?" I don't think I've ever played one course in either. Um, I won't say easy. We'll say normal mode and hard mode where I don't stand in front of it and I'm like, "Well played, Mr. Coconut." <laughs> Well played. Same thing with the finding the balls. Which, so we didn't go hunting for it on our first ever playthrough nope. of it because we were recording. But there's been times that we're recording and we legitimately accidentally find the balls. I purposely accidentally found one, and and but nothing else from the whole time stood out. It. So they did a great job mm-hmm. hiding the balls in the environment. Edward, great job. You did a good one. You did a good job with this one. I think it matches though. Example: If it's a more difficult course. It should be more difficult to find the balls, right? That's almost uh, its own little balancing act in science right there. Because you don't want to do some super hard course and then every single ball is right in front of your face. And the same thing, you don't want to do a super easy course, but mm-hmm. then it's impossible to find the balls. So not only do you have to balance, you know, constantly being creative with hiding the balls and designing new ones, you have to match it to the difficulty of the course. So that's a very fine balancing ad- act that Edward's doing right there. Yeah, but don't you find that sometimes there's been a couple we've done where, and we've even said like these are pretty easy to. Oh yeah, this one wasn't hard to find. And then there's but I, other I agree ones. with the balance. I think and mm-hmm. all together, it seems like all the core components from the the gameplay to the ball hiding, to the courses themselves, to the strategic placements of angles, to the music, all makes it that that perfect package. Which on the music, it's like it's a course that's it's elves. The music fits exactly what you would hope for an elven course. Like very angelic. Yeah, it just feels angelic. good. Yeah. And like I said, I can't recommend. I, I've always enjoyed the flying mechanic in this game. And you, uh, yeah, a lot of the courses are beautiful. They look great from the top view. But oh, there's something about this course. You fly above it. It's like, wow. And I, I think so much of it's the, the lighting. Trees, the tree areas. Yeah. No, they, they know what they're doing. They're it's, getting better and better and better. Just stay out of their way and let them. And I felt like this one came out a little shadow droppy. Yeah, I didn't hear I don't, about I this mean, until it was it, like a week got, away. Yeah, and then I start. I saw them posting on IG. Like, and whoa, I was like, wow, that's here? that's pretty cool looking. What are they What are they doing here? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh my god, it's coming out in like two weeks. And then full disclosure, we did get early access yes. with it. You yes. know, they did provide us, you know, free access to it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's always nice. It's it's nice being able to make some content for Walkabout Mini Golf. Enjoy one of our favorite games. I've DLC is a little of, early. Never heard of charged early access. No. Like so we'll give you gen- early access, but I guess that's a good assumption to make. I guess if we Although have, I would for a, a Quest Three. Yeah, I'll pay I'll pay yeah, early for a Quest Three. But typically if you hear us say that <laughs> if if we say that we got early access to a game, that usually means keys were provided Correct. as well. Yes. Um but you know, benefit of that, we get this review ready for today. Friday. Release day. Yeah. The thing with podcasting, it's like you can't, it's not like YouTube, you release the video and it's instantly out right there. There's like a slow trickle. It's really hard to put out a podcast like at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., no, you know, when the course releases. It's its own, everything's got its lanes. So it's like you generally release an episode early in the morning, so it's ready for everybody early in the morning. People really like, and I'm, I'm me included, I love listening to podcasts, driving to work. Exactly. So it's like, yeah, we probably could have put this out yesterday, right when the course dropped and stuff. But nah, let's just wait till Friday. Everybody has it ready for the morning, ready for the to start the work day, everything yeah. like that. So nonetheless, great work from, from Walkabout Mini Golf. And I said it on Monday, and I'm going to say it here too, that they need to come out with an out in vinyl. They need to come out with a Walkabout Mini Golf soundtrack from all their games. Mm-hmm. Because we had this theory that 
since their music's deliberately created with not being too catchy, but being okay in the the, the situation of mini golf and socializing with your, your friends, mm-hmm. that you should be able to play their music in a social gathering and nobody be like yeah. distracted because of it. And I'd love to test this out. And I think that this is actually a great soundtrack yeah. to prove it. Mm-hmm. Um, Although it works. I mean, they've already proven it with having them in their game, but mm-hmm. we're just saying walk about mini golf should have a nice vinyl record. Yeah. I would be the first in line. There's more than enough. <laughs> kind of like movie soundtracks, you know, shit. I had a bunch of those as a kid. In full disclosure, you say you did great on the course. You know, I did. Anybody watching the video, they'll be able to see. I did not do so great on the course. Again, I did get a hole in one on my first swing, but I think easy. I did good the whole time. I think it was hard. There were a couple of holes that really, really stopped into my. Yeah, there was one I was you still getting got off. under. Still Didn't got I under. max? Did I stroke out on one hole? No, I don't think you did. On the the hard mode, I don't think you no? did. Okay, I know I stroked out on many, on many. <laughs> well, no. In in fairness, because that sounds worse than it is, because you'll usually your first one will be like a legit, and if it does, if it goes south and like falls in the water, then you just crank it up to a hundred, <laughs> and you're like, I'm gonna try this, and you know what? I mean, dude, I watched it go down on one of the holes. I know it exists in in the footage behind us. Is mm-hmm. you just cracking the ball and it goes ping, 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 ping off the sides of something going up a hill, and it goes right into the hole. <laughs> And I'm like, I'll be damned because you can't duplicate that. That's yeah. just mayhem. And there's even one time that you baited me where you're like, I think you can bounce it off of that root right there. Mm-hmm. And I tried it twice because the first time I didn't believe it. <laughs> and the second time I tried it, I was like, yeah, there's 100% a barrier at the bottom of that. Yeah. that going up that root is not happening. Stopped it in its tracks. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes, like, example, two of my swings were based off of your idea. Yeah. That went south, but I was down to try it. So that's how I like to play walkabout mini golf when I first get a new course. It's like, yeah, let's see the crazy stuff that's possible. And and I, even then, sometimes it's I like I just wish I could redo the hole just to like, oh yeah, just screw around. Well, even there is a couple holes where you were instantly like, if we redid the hole right now, I would do way better on it because yeah. you learned what went down. So much of it is like you yeah. see it, you you process it. Like I said before, there are a couple times you like the hell is this so you see it <laughs> you process it you game plan and sometimes you're wrong but then you figure it out by hope by a swing too and i like how we're even though we're very competitive about it oh it's just about fun. We'll, we'll help each other out with like the mm-hmm. i think the line might be here mm-hmm. you know it's not like we're holding oh we're very supportive walk about mini golf players we Dude, just there is no better feeling when you you know you're going to be playing a new course mm-hmm. i'm not going to lie man i get i get freaking excited or I'll see like promotion for one and I'll be like, oh my, I, I want it. I mm-hmm. want it. You know, and I'm not, I'm not like that with a bunch of shit, but mm-hmm. walk about shell games. I expect you to die. Don't even tell me it's coming unless I can get my dirty paws on the product. Well, you know, you mentioned that this one was kind of like felt a little stealth droppy and definitely it's like, the, it did though. You know, there's some hyped courses, but the last one before this was what? Laser Lair? Yeah. And then that one was great. And it seems like they're following true to their, like, you know, eh, we do a crazy whatever we want one. And, and then, then we, we do, do a more, more traditional one. Okay, this one did feel more traditional. And the next one you should expect might be a little, little, I'm not saying crazy, but just might be not the norm. And yeah. then the next one will be the norm. The difficulty of this game came from, again, the way that the, they, they utilize angles and Dude, it's, curves. It's, the holes are beautiful. I'm telling you, there's some that are, like, legit. If you looked at it in eight by ten framed, it'd mm-hmm. be like, "Oh man, it's a beautiful graphic." Where'd you get that? But there's definitely no like crazy introduced mechanics such no. as lasers no or anything or like that. Anything. Just a shit ton of walls and things to hit and curves and angles and think the, like really cool designs mm-hmm. and your balls in there. Land of the Elves. We got to get get somebody from the team on to talk about how this idea came to be and. You know, we're going to get more Man, of these fantasy themes. And they're saying it was one of, what was it, one of nine mm-hmm. elf worlds or whatever. Yeah, what happened here? So what happened with the elves? Well, no, are, are there going to be nine different courses? Yeah. Oh, were you going to look at this part of a series? Is this, this going to be a reoccurring theme? Right. So this is Alfheim. Now mm-hmm. what? Is there going to be like another land of the elves? Alfheim and, part two. two. No, it's going to be, that's that's one country of elves. Now <laughs> elves we're going to get the second. Manhattan. Now we're going to get 
Bagorn or something like that. That's the other continent that they're. Dude, you don't want them that's... city elves. <laughs> hey, come over here. Huh? Why is it always in, in fantasy games? It's always the city elves. Even Skyrim right? was like that. It's always like elves have a recurring lore that like nobody's saying they like in not that they invented elves, but it's like you follow the same <laughs> themes and lore with elves that's pre-existing when you introduce it into your game. It's mm-hmm. like there's the wood elves. You have your city elves. That's like very consistent. Yeah, the wood elves are much more tribal. You know, even Dragon Age did this. Then the city elves are always like poor peasants, discriminated on. It's it's funny how it's like, all right, you bring in elves into your game. You don't try to re- reinvent the wheel. You <laughs> keep that lore. You keep that lore. Elves are discriminated on in every series they're in. Except I would walk about mini golf. I would say, I feel I feel safe in the area I'm in. Yeah, maybe there's some I love lore Alfheim. coming it's down beautiful. the road I don't know about. But right now. I didn't find any dead elves. The music is serene and lovely. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> Very angelic. Again, I think it's probably the most beautiful <laughs> course they did. When, again, when you fly in that flying around mode. Did you say it's the most beautiful course? The most? I I hate to say it because it's just so annoying because it's like everything is. I, good luck. But dude, good luck. go fly around to any of the other course and tell me if there's another course that hits that level of lighting and just like majestic feeling. It's beautiful. I I really like the pullback view mm-hmm. more than I mean I love the flying mechanics and it is gorgeous. But when I do that pullback view for the and first, first time, and you're looking at all that freaking detail, and you're like, this is absolutely crazy because you know how they put it together. Mm-hmm. And it, at can, this point, it's no secret, and it's like, geez, Louise, man, they continue to outdo themselves. One could even say why. So if you're <laughs> you one know, of the, if you're it's one of the, the level of detail that that really crushes it, even on something that when you zoom in, seemingly doesn't look as detailed, but the minute you pull out, it's like, damn, dude, mm-hmm. you got to be kidding me. Again, lighting tricks on this one, you know, hats lighting off. Lighting and sound. Yeah. Yep. And if you're somebody that wants that more traditional <clears throat> course feel, you don't want like the. This the is one that mechanics. theoretically yeah. could have been put anywhere. Exactly. I'm trying to think of any that were like there was nothing that was unrealistic. Holes. Exactly. Yeah. No, they really, they really outdid it. Hey, the the whole 18 had a really cool concept for how it's done. Do you consider that a spoiler or no? I don't really. Yes. Okay. On today's episode, yes. Okay. On next week, no. Okay. Because we'll give people 72 hours. That's to, fair. That's fair. But damn, Hole 18 is really cool. Yeah, and I wish I knew it. I wish I had figured it out prior to taking the shot. So Me too. I will say non-spoiler-wise, with, with the it's info so you've just been given, happens. don't go to Hole 18 and then just try to pop it in. Really pay attention first. There's something logical. It might, it might change your strategy. Mm-hmm. Why did I get a double bogey? <laughs> yeah. Dumb. But it's so I cool. Like such an idiot. Well, because I figured it out after the fact. I figured yeah. it out. Worst is that you took your shot, and yeah. then I took mine, and then we figured it then out. Then we figured it out. And it took two of us. It took both of our shots. We were just excited. Well, that first playthrough, it's like, mm-hmm. come on. Every time you play a new course with them, you get it. Because you're taking in all the scenery. You are listening to the music. You're usually trying to find balls. You're just Your brain's not focusing on just the game, so. Yeah, I totally, I totally freaking get it. Man, outdone themselves. The hard course was really fun. Wait until here. Let's. You want to play with Walkabout's money for a minute? Uh oh. Well, why not? Right? They got. I won't say how much they got. I don't know. I don't have access, but I'm assuming they're doing quite well. Well, with this kind of release schedule, with 4.99 DLCs, any amount of platforms now. They were just on the Quest Plus, and uh, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry if I got Walkabout for free. I'm buying some DLCs within a week. How could you not? Dude? So I imagine they did as pretty well as good off that promotion. Your, your Quest Plus, but how long until we see like a strategically played? This could be some Vegas type shit, I guess, where they do an in real life golf course. And just change set every six months or some shit. I think it's a no-brainer. Because if you were traveling somewhere... Just like if I was Shell Games, I would do in real life escape rooms. Yeah, where I expect no. you to do die. A million percent. Mm-hmm. A million. Mm-hmm. And I think you could with them when you got more... Because you could just license the escape room to existing locations. Here's, here's the material. Because the, the, the script. I, the only way I could see Shell working at... I mean, or anybody doing it like that is you couldn't have just the one puzzle you'd have to have a chain of puzzles oh hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah instead of just the the one traditional escape room Mm -hmm. 
So you'd have to do one thing and be totally offset. Like, okay, might be the car. Mm-hmm. Could be just a room. And I think it would be cool if you could do it like licensable, licensable. So you have the whole set script and then that to way, scale. Yeah. then you can just, you know, if you're at a, uh, an escape room somewhere around the country, you could go, look, I want to license that room, you know, and then both have the voices that come with it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, dude, I think I that's totally a be- genius idea. And I think that same thing exists with walkabout mini golf million, as well. But you know, look, man, it would have to be so strategic with okay. It couldn't be like a dump them in every city. No, they'll all play mini golf. It would have to be like in Austin where they have their their studio, very populous city. You think? Yeah. You know, Austin's a great spot to do For something game. like that. Cape Cod, mm-hmm. definitely. There's so many mini golf courses. So you put one like that. Upstate New York, out in the Adirondacks, Lake George, definitely. Vegas, definitely. I think we got this. <laughs> I, I do. A couple of spots in Florida yeah. for sure. One in Miami. Well, and like you said, this is definitely a course that that and that's is, just north america we you know mm-hmm. start pumping them out to man so man so we're gonna get eight more of these go to elf dubai courses. for the desert one so we're gonna get eight more of these is what you're saying you saw on social media no no but, no, 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 no 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 i was if you want to pull up just to see if i'm going crazy but if pull up the um you said they're gonna be like the nine description elf. i just i just all right i'll pull it up while we're talking okay but, just to make sure we're not out of out of their out of our mind i totally could be talking shit uh, it's it's not Why the not? first time it's happened. I'm starting but. trouble. Okay, ready. Some of you may be asking, what is Alfheim, land of the elves, and why did we choose this particular one of the nine realms? And what even are those? Take a look at this video for an idea of what is coming next to walk about mini golf. So in your brain, you go, I go. Well, what are the other eight realms? One of nine realms. Or this is like, is Alfheim existing lore? So is this going to be a nine realm series aside from the other I don't know licensed di- courses? I don't know if they directly said that, but I i mean, I do. can definitely see that implied. I don't know if they said that, but I'm glad why to would interpret you just, it as why that. Why would you just pick this one then? Yeah, I agree. I agree. So my my brain reads that as we chose one of the nine realms Indeed. and we've given you this. So what do you think of the elves? We have to give you the other because there's obviously. Can't you, what the hell made you pick this just one particular one? Yeah. What do the other realms look like? Alfheim or am I just so out of touch? I don't on know elven lore that I don't know what anything looks like. What do you elven noob? No, but they what they really. I know woodsy elves usually look pretty. Yeah. Male or female, they just always look mm-hmm. like really perfect skin, and even These the ones like that the, have it rough. These look like the noble elves, the one that live in a kingdom and have yes. their shit they figured eat out. Good. Yes. Yeah. The magic powers work and Eating shit. grapes and stuff. Yours you know? are perfect. <laughs> Not the elves that are more like trolls. And is a troll just like a alcoholic elf? <laughs> Gets the big... Because it's just funny how... You wonder who the first was, though, to really draw an elf and call it an elf. Mm-hmm. Like, this is an elf. Elven lore, man. It's crazy that walk. It's like leanings. trolls. I mean, who is the first person to go? Mm-hmm. This is a troll. Would it? This makes me think of like so fancy stuff. Would you want to see a, a land of the dragons or something like that? With what? Just Walking? a bunch of yeah, just a bunch of dragons. I don't. Is it one of the nine realms? I don't know. I will bet you anything. I'm just saying Google, completely. If, I separate. bet you if you Google the nine realms, something will come up. Nine elven realms. You know what? We might. We might be getting somewhere on here. Because, you know, I mean, we probably should have done this beforehand, but it just kind of hit me. It's like I was under the expectation that, uh-oh. Alfheim is the world inhabited by the, the elves in Norse mytholo- mythology. Okay. Okay. So this is like legit mythology, Alfheim. Yes. Okay. Chumwear. Oh, wow. All right, so wow! Props to walk about going the, deep with Norse fucking mythology for dropping the f bombs. Man, I thought this was a family show. Hey, we got that explicit tag. I'm gonna I take know. advantage of it. Sometimes you have to, and in this case, all right. So they they wow, took that's a legit. Cool. But is it is there a legit place on the planet Earth, or is it totally make-believe? no? No, it's Norse mythology. Norse Norse mythology. mythology. Okay, it's a mythological land of the elves. 
mythological land. All right, fair enough. But that doesn't answer the question over here about the nine realms and them talking about ones. I think it's the nine, the nine Norse worlds, like the. Okay, okay. Then what are the nine Norse? The nine worlds? realms of Norse mythology. Yeah, we have one As- of them elves. Asgard, Midgard, Vanaheim, Jotunheim, Alfheim, Nidavellir, Niflheim, and Muspelheim. No, I'm not doing that. And There's Helheim. people dying laughing right now. Wow, this is pretty cool. And so, okay, so it's not so, elven stuff. So, is so, is Walkabout going to lean into Norse mythology? So we're dissecting. We're oh, really getting in. Imagine Greek mythology. Yeah, dude. Walkabout courses, dude. Holy moly! So let's just look at the current list. I'm sorry, I'm a mythology noob. I'm sorry, I'm a mythology noob too. Yeah. To any of our listeners that love mythology and that I didn't know this at the start, and that you know, wow, we're speculating what Alfheim is, and so now we know. Establish this. So sorry. Keep going. Yeah. So if we look at the current ones on there, why would they just pick one of these? Because the elves are so beautiful, or why? But because the elven land was beautiful. Are they beautiful? I don't know enough about the mythology. I've never met an elf, so I wouldn't know if I've ever met an elf I like. Wow. The nine Norse worlds. So the nine realms and Norse mythology. Having Norse. gone down the the, the rabbit the hole, the coconut conspiracy hole. Do you believe it's possible that we might see eight other courses coming mm-hmm. after the same theme of North mythology? And do you think that they could that they would have eventually expand into like Greek mythology? We might get a course with Poseidon. Oh, do you think on Monday of next week you're going to get an email that says, "Hey, we were going to do those." Until you for you dumbasses mm-hmm. had to go dissect it. No, there's no. Norse mythology. There's a lot of <clears throat> no. There's people, people who instantly, instantly knew. knew. Yeah, yeah. we. I even saw. I guess Alfheim was referenced in God of War too. Mm. So it's like it's definitely a recurring thing in fantasy realm. We'll just, we're just thing. noobs, dude. It's a thing. Bro. We're just elven noobs. I go to the woods in Vermont every year with my friends with the swords, and we get the big so, ears. No, it's but now thing. we know. Now we know. So I love the potential of mythology yeah. courses and. Go it's visit. it's cool because if you look at those, there's so many different levels they could take their mm-hmm. their courses if they fall. So maybe just maybe this is part of a occurring thing where they'll drop X Y Z per year of just those. Mm-hmm. Then we have their license, or maybe stuff not, coming. or maybe this is a one and done. No, I think it would be no. crazy to do one and done. My money, my money is on knowing how much, how much stuff they have available from all their brainstorming, mm-hmm. which is to me probably like. Looking at the side of war and peace at this time, it's probably a stack. It's like, why wouldn't they have them all at their disposal? Mm-hmm. I really hope they do the others. There's so much potential in this. This is really cool. And I love the idea of just doing a Greek mythology one. Mm-hmm. Play, you, have, you could even do... They like, could have Medusa, but yeah. somehow if you look at her, like maybe there's some consequence to your ball that have, your ball turns into a stone. Yeah, yeah, you lose out on the, the stroke. Just by knowing that you looked at her, if you look That'd at be some her, quest three if you look at her, pew, <clears throat> ball turns to stone. It just pew, hold, you know, stroke done. You got to do a new stroke now. So see that we just spent so much of walkabouts money today with in real life golf courses <laughs> that that not only are there but are going to be on some sort of annual rotational uh, basis. Other Norse courses, the other eight courses, and throw in a specific Greek mythology one with all the the best and favorite new of. game mechanics with Medusa absolutely yeah aren't we aren't we cute that's a couple mil you know <laughs> it's a couple of mil amongst friends no but honestly this is what i love when they bring these new courses like laser layer opened up my pretend my eyes to like For that spy side courses. of things yes yeah. and now i never thought of these mythology courses before but just by this one norse mythology one i go well let's do the other eight realms Let's do Greek mythology. It's like the potential of walkabout to just do these courses until the end of time. Endless. Endless. There never needs to be a walkabout mini golf, too. Wait until they pull like some Disney license shit out of their hat and are doing. I'm waiting like, for nothing. it. Yeah. I'm waiting for Star nothing, Wars. Nothing is. Waiting for it. I am too, but sadly, as well, and this works out better because the longer the time period goes out that there is no star wars the cheaper it probably gets to license I agree, it because yeah, it prob- i can't imagine dude star wars anything is cheap to to put your name on yeah that's true i'm just saying as a consumer as a fan unless you're star wars <laughs> you know then yeah no no as a fan i agree and it just sucks because i i see that novelty eventually it's gonna go away you know just like the i love just of, love the, the, like, the love of old cars that whole as a whole of a group or of people who are like really into old cars or old hot rods, it's dying. 
it legit is a dying um you know dying area so you say that but i know a lot of young people that do too not a lot right like yeah. a handful of my just friends saying as still. a whole i get it yep i get it where when i was young we'd always work on them car every, every goddamn second we got working on my car <laughs> no i'm kidding well, legit though we would we would just tinker and it was the now hobby you, now you can't because of computers yeah if you don't have that laptop plugged in like goddamn technology really well you know to a to a old car guy yeah because he can't you know if you put an old car guy in into a brand new toyota and he has that need to tinker it's like he can't drives you crazy you know cars only need three things to run one of them was never a computer okay you get a headset right now standalone vr headset Mm -hmm. but you can't change the strap you can't change the front visor you can't add a battery pack you can't do anything no controller grips have fun (laughs) <laughs> it's gonna hurt right because you just came from dude the one of the greatest strengths of the quest 2 is its customization i love that yeah. you take everything off the quest 2 right but all headsets you, seem to be like that well because it's a standard that's why if it went away it would suck here's the thought though how about a naked quest 2 you ever you ever get your quest 2 naked you take off everything off of it it looks so yeah. much smaller well how's but then this? you can change that vibe why don't the headset people just make the shit best of from the beginning because you then you here. can't sell a 400 499 headset then it doesn't Make the cost. Offer I think it's just cheaper for them to th- let third parties do it. Well, because otherwise, I get I, to be the highest quality in those aspects. It's going to be an eight hundred dollar headset in order to get it. <laughs> is that that's what. It's not a three hundred dollar strap. No, but you put all of the money the and development up. of it into the actual internal components, what and if then you, could you get buy as a naked, cheap as possible. What if you could buy a naked headset? I think that's I don't, cheaper. Yeah, well, that would make sense if you already have all the parts. Now you just need a replacement headset, and you're like, I already have a face shield. You know why I, you don't? Because oh, people would buy them like that. They would make less money. Yeah, because it's cheap to build those little straps. That's so. what I'm saying. So <laughs> I, th- I think they put the total cost of the headset into the inside, and then they get as cheap as possible with that. And let the third party take care of it. And I actually love the industry of having all these like accessory manufacturers versus Meta having just the best of the best right off the top. We're there would like, be no Kiwi. So we don't want Apple is what you're saying. So it's it's good that it didn't come with like a piece of hay string. Mm-hmm. Put this right through the hole there. <laughs> no, which essentially is what that first trap. But anyways. But you I get wanna... my point though. Imagine if you got a headset now and you couldn't customize it. You'd be bummed. Be that's, how the car, that's how the car people feel. They're, that's they're, all there's still people who 3d print their head shit mm-hmm. stuff at will yeah they're like, accessories this is what and I stuff want. Yeah. yeah so i'm excited to start so do you recommend this course before we go down the whole quest road i said it at the start yes right. right off the top it's worth it 10 out of 10 if we were giving scores 10 out of 10 another hole in one from walkabout mini golf they continue to do Man, what they I do see so what good you did there. Ah, i see what you did you funny guys Looking ten out of ten, always worth the I'm money. Three ninety nine, three ninety nine. You know, <laughs> Uncle Vinny coming over here, right? Hey, city elf over here. Oh, Thief Sim had an update too. Well, we didn't mention it on Monday. No, no, that's sad. They had an update with new DLC. I was yelling chapter at somebody two, in they my got car Uncle, Uncle Vinny just for said, my own enjoyment. It's, dude. It says <laughs> it at the start of the the developer post inside the app for it because you know how there's the developer post with news and stuff yeah it says uncle vinny's back or the return of uncle vinny so they're embracing it i love it so yeah thief sim had a great update sorry i missed that on monday no, um uncle vinny's the shit don't even know how what i was talking about right uncle before Elf. that <laughs> uncle but, Elf over here. but yeah no for 3.99 <laughs> dude this this any course from walk about mini golf's work worth it the course is super fun they've taken it to a whole new level aesthetically Again, the lighting, if there's one thing that they brought highest level to this that was, wasn't was in the other course, it's specifically the lighting. But everything's great on it. The music. See, I'm going to go I'm gonna go music over lighting. The music's great, but the yeah. music's always been great. Mm-hmm. I just I think just said it was really... Really fitting. Well, it's exactly what you'd expect for Elf music. It's weird because if you asked me to judge courses, I couldn't. But if you said, like, which one had the best, like, music feel for the environment, I'd say, like, probably this one. Yep. Which it, one had the hardest holes? It wouldn't be this one. So it, it would always be this shuffling gumbo of, yeah, if you're, like, three-card money. If somebody walked up to you in the street and said, think of music that would be in an Elven environment. And without you being able to replicate the tone, your brain would create a general idea of what you're envisioning and it would be this the music that's playing in this course they really did a great job getting it to fit the theme mm-hmm. so and that's not an easy skill 
No, we know we know the amount of work they put mm-hmm. into it. To it doesn't tone get this distracting. It just fits. Again, they have so- to tone him down. So imagine if they just turned him loose on a hole and was like, "Look, you make your music as freaking as attractive as you- we want them singing this." You could pull that. We off want them it. waking up in the morning and it's the first thing they think like of us in the I morning. I expect you to. I expect you. I to expect die. you to die. To- How many years later, we're still mm-hmm. singing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. Like that work. Come see the softer side of Sears. I can promote them now because they're nothing. So we're <laughs> they talking got real about estate. History. You know they were the original Amazon. They had the potential to. What I always heard is that they just never converted their their paper no, 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 catalog no. to. Yeah. It, well, they could have been the original before Amazon. they were before they were standalones. Yes, they were, they doing were what Amazon catalog did. only. Correct. You know, you buy everything. But wallpaper, if they had converted everything. that catalog, yeah. to digital yep. before Amazon came around, there would be mm-hmm. no Amazon. Be Sears. Sears. Big Sears truck rolling through your yard. Mm hmm. Sears Prime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sears Prime. Got all your stuff. No, no but how about you? Do you recommend this this course? Because I, I ranted worth it for three ninety nine. Dude, I before I even ever play a walkabout course, and this is why we do these separate from reviews. We don't review them, whatever, because I'm instantly biased it just being walkabout mini golf. So I'm like, hey, so I, 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 I play a course four months from now that comes out, which we'll assume one will. Um, Probably within four months before that. Is honestly, it worth based four dollars? Is it worth you know four dollars and eighteen cents after tax or whatever? Yup. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one that comes out a year from yesterday is that going to be worth you know four or five dollars? Yup. Mm-hmm. So they'd really have to go out of their way deliberately to be like, we're going to build the shittiest thing possible in order to screw up their. And look at it every they have to design all their their art and all that for every single course so it's like they can't recycle too much stuff but in in the big picture of things eventually they'll be able to like start cherry picking Dude, i'm again, just I'm, i don't know man and beyond the actual aesthetic levels that they took to the going next to level, the asset selling business like the lighting's the next level like you said the music but also the physical course design with the way that they play with angles with obstacles mm-hmm. with cutting through certain spots my goodness they've really taken it to the next level and a I, million percent and i want to be clear that walkabout mini, mini golf never directly said that they're making those other eight norse mythology courses that's me that's us speculating that's us wanting maybe even putting trying to put a little pressure on them <laughs> it's, but it's treble elf over here but they never they Give never see the eight they never directly said it to us, though. It's a no, no brainer. It was, why wouldn't you? Where I'm just speculating, like, why go out of your way to say one and nine? You know, you could have just said, hey, this beyond is that, elf world, whatever. Why do just one Norse realm if you know that there's only nine? Because look what happened. I, I had you go Google it to find out, you know, our, what are the nine worlds? Yeah. And then, oh, lo and behold, what do we have here? So I just want to, you know, I want to be clear. They never directly said it. It's us wanting. Yeah, it's they us did. hoping, trying to put some pressure on, Sent trying to put email. the heat i saw it in the email but damn if they did i'd be excited <laughs> if they did it with greek mythology if they did it with egyptian mythology let's go i love the concept never even thought of it before you know i mean shh, dude i i don't know the, for, the, for it the, doesn't end the, the potential you i just, would love to see them just do one inside the great pyramid because you know who really that's knows what every i'm talking and, and, and uh, nothing nothing outside so yep. pyramid one i'd definitely be down for that because they had temple of as a right i'm gonna what as a zeria what was the one called again I, I can't pronounce it not after you just butchered <laughs> it i'm not saying nothing after about i it. just went in so deep having fun the one with the sand yeah but i get what you're saying <laughs> one directly just focused on inside a tomb that's it not tomb so, a well, pyramid. I mean, they a one pyramid. could argue it is. A yeah, team, but well, I, you know what I mean, and I knew what you meant. We don't know, but <laughs> but we no, there's know. so much potential, and any time they come with these new courses, it it opens my mind to the true potential of like all the different courses that they could do. The ones that I didn't even think of. That's why we always say, if we knew what's on on their whiteboards, if they knew what's if we knew what's in ideas. I didn't see Elf World coming. I didn't see this coming anywhere. No hype to it, but Just I do drop. like it because if they choose to leave it alone it's been great and if they choose to add it it's not like they're going to be like all right the next eight courses mm-hmm. are going to be all focused around no they no just they space them out drop a couple of year whatever mm-hmm. and then eventually get to the end and what i mean by no hype to it there was hype the second it announced but i mean it's not like one that they said this is going to be coming later this year you know not months that ago I know of. 
<laughs> yeah, know? I never heard about this until I'm pretty boom. in tune to when they talk and I didn't see it. So, so maybe I just missed it. But so if it you, was a treat and a half. Yeah, I really liked it. Greatest I, we can both agree though, because if mine's the lighting and the environment, look to it and yours is the music, both of those fall into the aesthetic. Mine's the music and mine's the music and the The fitting with the environment of it, right? Yeah, the artwork and the actual courses. Because if you stand back and look at the courses again, if you had that framed as the whole You'd be like, damn, that's a really nice piece of art. So I, I categorize all that into the aesthetics. So we can mm-hmm. both say, as much as we love the gameplay, aesthetically, this course is unbelievable. I mean, they really outdid themselves. Aesthetically, all those things are aesthetics. I put it in par with everything I expect from Walkabout. Yeah. From Walkabout. Words I, can't, I, I can't put one. Dude, the only, the only way I'm going to say anything looks graphically really better is if it's like real life photo. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, in, until then, I, I can't, I don't think they're going to ever go backwards, so I always expect that same repetitive. Hard mode is um, really fun, too. And I'm saying repetitive, not in like, oh, no, but repetitive in, like, graphically, it's mm-hmm. always going to look good. It should never, it should never look bad. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 18 holes of fun on easy, 18 holes of fun on hard. Really yeah. great, good job. Mighty Coconut, yeah. Walkabout Mini Golf continues to outdo themselves. Alfheim, worth it, worth three ninety nine. I hope we get the other eight realms. Hope we've pronounced it correctly. Yeah, I hope we get the other, some other mythology in general. Really cool potential there. I never thought of. Just they continue to outdo themselves. Yeah. Great stuff. Keep Anyth- up the good work for sure. Cause yeah, we'll never grow tired of playing it. Anything else you want to uh, you want to throw in on this one? Nah, dude. We we spent I think a couple mil of coconuts money. We um. We budgeted. We had some fun. Back them into the corner with the other eight worlds. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know what other damage we can do. No, I'm I'm grateful that we get to try it. Um, I'm always the fun we have playing it is legit. Mm-hmm. It's never been like, oh man, you gotta play freaking walk about mini golf. No, it's always like, dude, I can't Laughs. wait to. Like, Tear- what time are you gonna be ready? You yeah. know, tears in our eyes. You know, though, there's always moments. Mm-hmm. Always. Mm-hmm. Great, one of the most commonly played games in our game meetups on our Discord. Yeah. Shout out to Amelia with constantly setting those up. Amelia already got that thing ready to roll. They're mm-hmm. going to be playing today if you're hearing this on release. So mm-hmm. they're doing it on Friday, or on Thursday. Oh, yeah. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yes, yesterday. yesterday technically. Because Amelia does not wait. Does not that play game, games. That game's coming out at eight o'clock, probably eight o one. There's, <laughs> a, there's a game meetup. No, bad. Which are real easy to join too. Our, our mod team. Uh, we talked about it on Monday. They kick ass. They crush Amelia it. shoes. My fear is someone's going to offer to pay them to do their stuff on their <laughs> channel, gonna... and then we're screwed. Well, you know what? It'll be a loss for us, but if I that's think. the case for them, then good for oh, yeah, them, no, right? They're you worth know, it. So. It'd be worth every penny. So hats off to them. You know, always keeping our, our Rough Talk community, you know, what it is. So if you're a fan of the podcast and you haven't yet, go visit our show notes, the episode description. Go join our Discord, a great, vibrant community full of game meetups, great VR discussion, great life discussion. You know, you can go and just be a watcher. You can be an engager. Engager's watcher. always cool. You can be a peeper. <laughs> you can be a creeper. Uh, what was the voice that you were doing for Survival Nation the other day? We've been having oh, a blast man. with Survival Nation. We're, I'm trying to find the character to do for it uh, we gotta, so we can. Yeah. All right, soldier. <laughs> this is how it's going to be, soldier. Don't be surprised Something if when like we that. finally review Survival Nation, That's if that, time, that voice yeah. comes out. Uh, just follow my directions, shoulder. <laughs> We're gonna do just fine. Load up, get your so, ammo. So go Put join that our, magazine in. Don't back talk me. Go join our Discord. Go join. Go check out our <laughs> Patreon. You know a way that oh, you can man. help support us. Uh, you know, help us go full time. We have some really cool tiers, like on air shout outs. Uh, your name across the bottom of the tier. Access to a special chat room inside our Discord server. All that cool stuff. Sub- subscribe, rate us five stars on whatever podcast platform you listen to. Subscribe on YouTube, like, comment, share with your friends, tell your neighbor, all that stuff, and we'll be back with you next week. Adios. Ciao, ciao. You don't need to tell your neighbor either. They don't want to hear that shit. Unless right. you're creeping on them. <laughs> don't then be creeping least, on them At least them give them a reason why you're standing out yeah. the window. Be like, oh, Yo. I want to tell you about Rough Talk VR. That's what I really want to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See us in the police report. Mm. Woo. They must be cool. They told you to do what? No, 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 no. I didn't say to go creeping. No. That's why you have Thief Sim for so that. Don't tell, you don't. can creep all you want in Thief Sim. Controlled home invasion. You don't need to tell your, your neighbor about us. But your cousin? Yeah, they know you enough. All right. <laughs> Check you out next week. Ciao, ciao.